What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at Gala Games. Gala Games actually on this pullback has made me look at it a little differently. What I had before was a falling broadening wedge. This is what I had before because I believe we were going to break out and see some great upside which I had this measured out here going up. Now after the pullback I ended up noticing we do have this wick down here that actually coincides with these two wicks down below and lo and behold we actually have our fall straight down to this level therefore I believe the trend is in so with knowing this information what do I see out of the charts well I see on the MACD our trend lines are actually getting back into the neutral territory we can see we're in the bearish control zone on the relative strength index. Our stochastic RSI on the daily is trying to curve up from the absolute depths of Valhalla down here. The only thing that brings relative concern to me is on the daily, the only backtest we had of this former falling wedge pattern was this right here. So if we do fall out of this falling what seems to be channel type thing, channel wedge we'll debate on that later but if we do fall out of this we have support down here at about 1882 so 1882 uh, which would be a formal back test of this massive falling wedge we actually broke out of we still have yet to make the entirety of the measured move if we do come all the way down here to back test it would set up for a slightly higher high than we had before however we are currently finding support on the 50 simple moving average. What we really need is within the next four hours of me recording this video, for us to get back above this 200 simple moving average, that would show this level formally used as support would be support once again. If we come out to the four hour time frame, this is where we, uh, we get a little iffy, but it does look pretty interesting for a chance to get back above that resistance simply because you can see we have falling price action we have a low right here on the relative strength index we have a low lower price higher relative strength meaning there is accumulation in this territory which means we should have further upside to go not more downside noted if bitcoin takes a dump we're gonna see a dump we're gonna see a bad dump and if we continue down into the lower time frames we can see on the one hour we took that dive straight down, we dipped down, now it looks like we are trying to get above this small little trend line here. We're fighting against it, we're fighting hard, but it does look like it's trying to push to the upside. So buyers are starting to step in. If we look at our 15 minute time frame, you can see we are curving to the upside, about to try and test the 50 simple moving average once more. And then if we, if we just scale it back out real quick, and we look at the one hour this one hour all we really have to do is break above this level of resistance for us to get really really bullish again get really bullish and at least make an attempt up to the top of this little falling wedge pattern but we will have to wait and see what the traders want to do because also we fudging with it a little bit fudging with it a little bit but if we utilize this wick as well as this wonderful little candle close you can see the idea of a channel wedge something in that regard where you could possibly see if you break out 11.9 percent upside so the possibility is there we just have to wait and see what the traders want to do but as of this moment in time, it does look like they want to push this price higher. So those are my thoughts on the market. Tell me what you think down below. And if you made it this far in the video, could you do me a huge favor? Hit the like, leave a comment, maybe even subscribe. Really trying hard to get to a thousand subscribers. And uh, also, if you have a bunch of requests or you'd like to know more, jump into the Discord. Links are down below. I will catch you in the next video. Hopefully your trades are going well. And uh, keep those stop losses tight. These are shaky times. Keep those stop losses tight. I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.